I'm actually excited. I like listening to albums. Albums are nice. Albums are cool. All right, True Power by I Prevail. Ambient intro. <laughs> My favorite song. <laughs> the, the way it's building, there has to be something special on the other side. Or I quit. Ooh. If a song was a wave, it would be like this. Ooh. God damn. I see they really got inspired by Mick Gordon in these new tracks. <laughs> this this first track feels a bit disjointed because of how like this it is. Big. It's an interesting first track into this under the album. Telling you to bite down. This chorus is awesome. <laughs> so is this album gonna be like heavy or something? <laughs> Cause that's the impression I'm getting from the singles, from this opening. Maybe it's gonna be less poppy than Trauma. Oh yes. <laughs> I like the rap parts, I really do. This, this pre-chorus, Fucking everything, bro. Everything. It's so fucking good sounding. <laughs> so sick. This is so sick. I love this. It's so crazy. I've I've listened to Spite earlier today because I was recording a follow-up and reaction. And I'm listening to this and I love both of these sounds, but they're so far apart on the scale of like styles, right? That's awesome. That's what I love about music. Just different stuff sounding equally good. This chorus is awesome. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know how much I love the, the chorus split onto, into like two parts. Love that shit. They're, they're really good at music writing. Like these smooth transitions is everything. Get your big fucking guns out. The only thing they're scared of is you. <laughs> Go on. This break is so good. Fucking tone, it's fucking sound, it's so good. Bumping, god damn. Oh, okay, we're, we're toning it down with the heaviness for a bit. I feel like we're gonna come back to it eventually. Ooh, ooh. That ending of the chorus? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, that is tasty! That is tasty! A little guitar solo? I gotta say, this album already, compared to Trauma, feels a lot less cookie cutter. A lot less generic or whatever you want to call it. Oh! What the fuck? Ooh. The gloomy part. This, this really makes sense as a middle point of the album. Splits things up a little bit, right?
I'm petrified. Just drop me already, please. Oh, this is just this is just straight up sounds like BFG, no? Like with that lead? <laughs> what? Hmm. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Clearly inspired by BFG, obviously. I mean, a lot of a lot of moments, heavier moments in this album are kind of Mick Gordon-y. The versatility on this album is unmatched. <laughs> this is a bit of a Dance Gavin Dance moment, you're right. <laughs> Car commercial, but amazing. Buy your new Toyota at the local dealership. I like what they're doing with the lead guitar in this album. Number 11. Oh, riff o'clock. <laughs> okay. This fucking fucks. Come on. Oh. What? This is this is something. That chorus was the best chorus of the album. <laughs> what? Ooh. Okay, this one's not quite like in your face, punching you. But it's nice, uh, a bit of a wind down from the previous track. Chiller, vibe year. Oh, never mind. Nice. I really, really love that both vocalists get a lot of space to shine, showcase their vocal capabilities. I love that. They're not like hiding each other away because of, like you know they give each other verses, choruses to kind of take over. It's nice. It's cool. Of course, of course, there's a breakdown. <laughs> oh. Oh. Track number fourteen. Visceral. Heavy. Is this heavy? Oh, of course it's slowing down. Of course it's slowing down. Come on. <laughs> what is this album, man? What is this album? Can someone explain to me? There we have it. <laughs> Last track of the album, Doomed. The Closer. It's finally here. I know this, this, this album flew by. So quick. We're well, already at the last song. It's crazy. God damn. Okay, Eric singing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is wild. Everybody sings like there's no tomorrow until the music stops. Huh? And the music stopped after he said that. Look at that! True Power by I Prevail. Wow. Okay, that was actually a perfect ending for that. Oh, yeah, like someone said in the chat, it's an it's an upgrade over trauma in almost every possible way.
And I'm sure lyrics is one of those uh, as well, because lyrics were actually quite nice. Usually it's not over the top. There are there are some, some parts of the album where I felt like it was a bit much, a bit much stuff happening. Maybe an, an, an unnecessary breakdown here and there. I don't want to dig into it too much because, again, my first listen, I barely remember any of the songs, like, to the T. I need more time with it, of course. But my first listen, I had a bang-ass time and I really enjoyed it. So This and Trauma felt like Silver Scream 1 and 2 for me. That is a great analogy because the Silver Scream 1 was amazing. The Silver Scream 2 was incredible. I feel like the gap between quality uh, between these two albums, Trauma and True Power, is not as big as it was for Silver Screams. But still, it's, it's a pretty no noticeable upgrade for their sound. And I'm happy about it. I'm really happy that they're doing stuff they like. And clearly, it feels like they really like what they've created. There's a lot of emotion behind these songs, you know, despite the heaviness, the, the Doom soundtrack-esque uh, riffs and breakdowns. Still, there is a lot of, there's a lot of that emotion, especially in the closing track, Doomed. Yeah, it was a great journey. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, the next one.